peace demon world at this time i am nicole monique pays the queen empress shadow priestess isoteric soul star and i'm here to keep this realm and reality current in world war three agave and infinite gratitude to the soul family constellation today is the sun's day and that's sunday march 6 2022 the sun is currently 15 degrees into the Piscean archetype. To all of the Pisceans out here acknowledging a star day today, peace and more power to you and all of your individual missions as I greatly appreciate your service to us all. Thank you, Pisceans. Now, 15 degrees Pisces is fixed star Alcanar. Alcanar, A C H E R N A R, royal honors, success in public office, philosophical, patient, inclined to religion. There can be misfortune and problems with any planet at 15 degrees. As Strong Council adds, this degree has access to another realm and fortune. At the top of the sun's hour, 6.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon is currently 29 degrees into the Aryan archetype, a critical degree for all energies that denotes an ending and urgency. 29 degrees Aries is fixed star Aurisha, unifying influence with groups, fortunate. This is what the Sabian symbols has to say about 29 degrees Aries. A celestial choir singing, tuning into the sound of the universe. All life is like a melody and we need to learn how to hear it. Devotion and veneration as tools of power and beauty. We become more in harmony with life by becoming sensitive to the universal chord. We all have our part to play and each essential part adds a little more grace to beautify the whole melody of life, which resonates throughout universes everywhere and always. As we act, we shape it a little and as we listen, we shape it too. So let's tune in by staying current, checking our alignment and talking aspects. Let's check in with the sun in Pisces conjunct Jupiter in Pisces. I'm excited. Can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> the sun illuminates, gives purpose to, and influences a particular state of being. Jupiter influences personal expansion and one's fortune is determined considering the application of wisdom from such experiences. Since both of these planets are in Pisces, those energies correlate to artistic expression at this time, right? Collectively speaking. What's hidden, philanthropy, the psyche, spirituality, idealism, and manifestation. Now, when planets are conjunct, there's less than 10 degrees of separation, which combines the influence of both energies, thereby creating intense possibilities of dualities of both planets involved, setting things in motion. So be aware that today through about Thursday, the 10th, spontaneous endings and beginnings can happen with your purpose, what you're illuminated to, and good fortune concerning your personal experiences as it relates to your highest ideals, spirituality, artistic expression, philanthropy, and manifestations. Pretty much all the makings of a miracle. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what the tarot says. And um, no lies will be told, says Black Moon Lilith, still going strong in Geminian, all right? There's absolutely a dream home and or overall um, life of good health, strong roots, and wealth being highlighted here. The person experiencing and or in alignment for this absolutely went through a long hard journey of obstacles to achieve this. This person made this happen for themselves. 
However, on the flip side, there's a family member or estranged soulmate from the past that is in their emotional bag over this, okay? At some point in the past, this connection was completely severed as there was no ability to respectfully and or there was some other huge imbalance with working together. Two separate paths were taken here, all right? And yo, this separation is absolutely final, okay? The person emotionally sour is obsessed with this other person's plight. So much so that they are absolutely doing some kind of energetic fuck assery, um, anywhere from verbally cursing their name, keeping like bad thoughts in their head to demonic spell casting. Like I'm not even playing. Whether the abundant party feels this or not, he or she is not concerned. They've blocked off their energy to this entity knowing they're pretty much stuck where they are, this other party, right? This person absolutely maintains their peace and mental stability. Um, he or she has put in way too much hard work and um, in all ways, he or she knows that there is major success, um, is, you know, major success is imminent right now. Um, and let me tell you something, um, this abundant party has literally created this life in some type of magical way, okay? The happiness this person is receiving is so beautiful, okay? They fought so hard for this, okay? This other party is aware of this too because it will not let up off this person so mad that he or she did not invest when they had the opportunity. The universe put a song in my head, okay, um, that I heard in church, like when I, you know, the little time that I was there and it was like, God has smiled on me. He has set me free, right? It was so strong, all right? But the universe also says, be aware this other party knows the way to personal salvation through this example. And he or she may come back around for one last trick. Okay. Next up is the sun in Pisces conjunct Neptune in Pisces. So Neptune in Pisces influences the removal of material constraints and illusions and activates spiritual vision and imagination and the psyche as it relates to philanthropy, manifestation, the psyche, artistic expression, idealism, spirituality, and what's hidden. So be aware that from about Wednesday the 9th until about the 16th, with the 12th through the, uh, uh, the 14th being the strongest of spontaneous endings and beginnings that can happen with your purpose, what you're illuminated to, the removal of material, uh, materialism, and, you know, spiritual activation as it relates to artistic expressions, ideals, the psyche, and the soul. All right. So let's see what the tarot says about this. And someone here is losing it. All right. But hiding it. All right. This person is hiding that they're feeling defeated and sensitive that another person has, uh, you know, the person that they desire. Um, that... This entity, you know, it's either that or this entity knows that the person that they desire is checking for someone that ain't them, right? This person is experiencing some type of ego death as, you know, whoever is quote unquote replacing them, they feel should be some type of subordinate to them in some way, all right? However, <laughs> what this person is witnessing is the truth behind soul connections. Their ex-partner has been connected to another partner spiritually ordained considering the painful experiences they've overcome, all right? This defeated partner likely thought there was no connection stronger than him or her. This person is still emotionally attached to this other party and feels possessive over them, all right? Wanting to work with them in some way still. This person's fortune has taken a very sharp turn for the worst. However, he or she is still obsessed with power, control, lower desires, and or even addictions, okay? The other party is absolutely abundant at this time or and or is in alignment for it, all right? This person is generous, kind, absolutely modest, and is held in high regard by others. 
he or she is in no way looking toward the past and is currently or is about to, um, you know, considering a, a sincere offer from another person. One that has been guided to them to assist with attaining personal wish fulfillment. The universe says that although although things may seem confusing, this person is likely to find that this new connection is absolutely trustworthy and is the solution to what they've been staying in alignment for uh, concerning success and their overall life purpose. If this is a choice between the past and the present, the distinction, the distinction may be confusing, so trust your intuition. Now on to our spiritualist what card of the day. In order to love who you are, you can't hate the experiences that shaped you. Anything truly cool about you was created from the life you've lived. Remember that when you start to wind down the shame spiral. No time is wasted. No love is wasted. No tears are wasted. No breath is wasted. You being you is important and every single thing that made you you is of value. Tell shame to suck it. All right. That is what I have for you at this time. Stay spiritually strapped out here. Don't get washed up under the current and I will talk to you soon. Peace.